It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bottle of Thornbridge's Shelby IPA. It's a 5% ABV, 330 millilitre bottle of beer. It's the official beer of the TV series. I've seen a few of these beers along the way. And I always thought they were all kind of, who, who made one? Um, a lager. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Oh, it'll come to me in a moment, but uh, there's been a few lagers made for the TV series. It's very popular. Peaky Blinders Lager, I think it was called. Oh, I think it was Rudgate? Sadler's. That's it. Sadler's Brewery. Sadler's Brewery made the Peaky Blinders Lager, but this is the official, official beer brewed by Thornbridge. For me, really, really good quality brewer. Uh, we got a one finger white head. I've been painting today with black paint, so. Thought I'd have a break and have a beer. Uh, good levels of carbonation, golden amber colored beer. Let's get the aroma then. It's not from this house, I promise you. <laughs> Thin walls in these terraced houses. Grapefruit, orange peel. It smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Hmm. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. It's Friday afternoon and I've got um, this black metal paint that I'm using. Spraying this. I mean, there's a video coming. I'm, I'm making a. I'm making a video about a restoration of a Victorian cast iron mantle. And while everything's wet over there and spray painted and drying, I thought let's, let's grab a beer. It's all right. A bit lemony, a bit biscuity. Nice balance to it. I think this beer has been brewed by Thornbridge for fans of the TV series. And what I mean by that is <clears throat> Thornbridge generally brew beer for the craft beer industry, or they used to at least. Now you see them in Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Tesco, Asda. They're famous for their Jaipur IPA, but they're more of a craft forward IPA, but I think they brewed this beer as an easy going style IPA for the mass public who enjoy Peaky Blinders. And, and that's, that's my say on it. It's, it's, it's not really blowing me away with hops. It's not kind of knocking me to the floor. I'm not about to start jumping round as I usually do, going stone the crows. It's just a nicely balanced, decent IPA. I like the, the breadiness, the biscuitiness of the malt. They've used a, a darker malt for this IPA, you can see by the colour. So they've really thought about it. They've really thought about this beer. It's a beer that people might drink with their eyes. It's a beer that it's not overly hoppy, it's not overly bitter. That might put a few people off. But i tell you what it is, to the beer's credit, this might very well be a gateway 
for, for some people into the craft beer world. People who really like the TV series may never have had an IPA before. A decently strengthed IPA anyway. Not the not the stuff from the regional breweries that come come out at about 3.5%. <clears throat> this could lead a few people into trying different beers and getting into beer and all of a sudden they, they, they've gone down the rabbit's hole and there's no returning. That's what happened to me 10 years ago. But it looks good, it's well behaved, it's a nice looking beer. Always important to, for me anyway to use the right glass where I'm using an IPA glass. Really does promote the hops in the beer. Lemony, grapefruit, pithy, biscuity, bready. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Let's uh, let's have a little bit of a read. Uh, the official beer of Piggy Blinders, the TV series, uh, Shelby is an India Pale Ale inspired by the style of beer consumed in 1919, at the time of the Piggy Blinders. We have created the kind of IPA that might have been found behind the bar at the Garrison Tavern in Small Heath, Birmingham. Might have been, might have been is the, is the key here. Um, Shelby pours a golden amber in colour with a nose of stone fruit and red berries, a gentle maltiness on the palate and a wonderful citrusy lemon bitterness by order of the Shelby Company Limited. Um, probably going to correct Thornbridge a little bit on this beer and it's only me being me and <laughs> right they've used new world hops in this beer uh, new world hops have been around of course America Australia New Zealand for 20 25 years maximum maximum uh, no way did New World hops, New World American hops, go all the way back to 1919. Uh, and they weren't exported over to Birmingham for brewers in Birmingham to brew their beer. I can tell you that for an absolute fact. What they might be loosely suggesting here is that there would have been an IPA at 5% ABV. That's probably true. That's probably true. But to suggest that it has New World hops in it... It's grapefruity and lemony and, you know, what do they call it? Stone fruits? Nah, I'm sorry, that wouldn't have happened. It would have been more of a, a British hop used in the beer. But it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. Let's rate it. Shelby by Thornbridge Brewery, 5% ABV. Picked it up for about £1.20 a bottle in Aldi. Not bad, not a bad price. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it's okay, it's okay, it's a, it's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!